It's happening in every neighborhood. Down every street. Sickness. Addiction. And violence has been turning countless homes into crime scenes. Suffering. Depressed. Alone. Suicidal. Wake up, Hong Kong. The Spirit of God is with you. Do you have problems? We have solutions. We are starting right now our evening program called Problems and Solutions. And I'm sure this program is going to bless your life. We are going to watch the testimony of Nichelle Briones. After that, I'll be back with all of you. Hi, today we have Nechel Briones joining us here, who's going to be sharing with us some issues that she was facing, problems um, that she was able to find solutions to. So, Nechel, thank you for joining us. Um, Hi. Please share with us about the problems that you were facing before you started coming to UCKs. Yes. Before I came at Charles, uh, I was an emotional person. Um, I have a depressed anxiety. I hold grudge towards my mother because she want um, uh, spend uh, send money every month. Mm -hmm. As I, I confirm, um, where did she pay, she spend? And if I ask, if I ask, uh, I'm not satisfied with her answer. Mm -hmm. I got annoyed and hot tempered. Mm -hmm. As, as a result, uh, I curse my family. Uh, and then uh, I hold grudge towards my ex-husband because of his abuse me and abuse me physically and emotionally. I came at the point uh, I don't want to hear his name. How long were you? How long did he abuse you for? I was 19 years old. And then uh, I was victim uh, scam i invest around 180000 pesos what that 180000 pesos um believing networking believing turn into million i got debts more or less 200000 pesos and then my sister uh, was diagnosed from heart enlargement the doctor said she needs surgery. And not a long ago, I suffered my body pain. It was easy for me to walk distance, far distance. Uh, I went check up uh, and prescribed um, medication, but didn't uh, work. Didn't work. Did, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So you could say that every area of your life was affected. You had a problem in every area. Yes. From your finance, right? With the debts. Yes. And then your health, because you weren't okay and you couldn't find a solution for that, right? Yes. Even the family, because you were not getting well with, with uh, your mom. Love life was yes. a mess as well. Yes. So everything. And then inside, how were you inside because of all um, these issues? Because be uh, because that what my, my inside before, uh, I don't have peace. Mm. Then, um, long time ago, I don't have peace. Uh, I have suicidal thoughts. Mm -hmm. Then I blame God. Mm -hmm. uh, I ask myself, first, the God, why my life like this? Mm -hmm. And then at the point, I want to, 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 to jump in the building mm -hmm. because of my depression. I don't want to, I don't know what the, the I don't have strength to overcome. Mm -hmm. And then, um, Every time when I came another church, mm -hmm. when I was before, after the the, the service, it uh, before uh, I don't have peace. I'm looking. I ask God, Lord, 
I, I'm I want I want to know more hmm. about you but my life like this after the the other when I came the church before but nothing happened hmm. I don't have feel any any inside of me happiness but the loneliness is inside of me uh, and then um, uh, my my friend uh, invited me one day uh, for 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 coming here in the church, but uh, it's not easy to come. Mm. Um, she invited me at two times mm. because I was religious before. I don't believe any any uh, religious because I I, I, I said myself and people that with uh, which I was before mm-hmm. like that. And then, um, because this my friend, uh, she always asked me to come here in UCKG. I I came, mm-hmm. and then after after that one, I came here in UCKG. Um, the first the first I noticed is deliverance. Mm-hmm. It's the problem is inside of me, because I hold grudges towards my mother, towards my ex husband, because. Uh, uh, I don't have peace inside, unforgiveness inside. And then uh, the first day, I never forget that the time that day uh, I was deliverance in the service, the 3 p.m. I I collapsed mm-hmm. the time. I collapsed because I cannot hold the so many burden inside of me. It's very heavy, the time. And, and the time... Um, uh, because I asked myself, this is the one I want. Because a long time ago, I I need peace like that. Then I came you to I came I continue to talk him here mm-hmm. and help center until uh, it talks uh, three months. I I I receive peace mm-hmm. that time. Then uh, I noticed also I healed from my my body pain. That what's before it that uh, it it was it. It was not easy to walk far distance. Mm-hmm. I noticed, ah, oh, this is it. I told myself, then I asked God, Lord, I healed like mm-hmm. that. I, I, uh, I, I don't have a uh, pill pain like that. Mm-hmm. Then I keep coming charge all the services I, I attending, attending, and then, um, uh, I decided to to become people tighter. Mm-hmm. I put the practice the word of God. Um, I joined any. I joined the 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 any part any campaign. Uh, I meet in of prayer, mm-hmm. or and then um, and uh, God opened the doors of he- the doors of opportunity for me to to have another source of income. Mm-hmm. I have a uh, three doors apartment mm-hmm. and I have a uh, hollow blocks uh, business mm-hmm. and I bought two hectares agriculture agricultural land uh, I where I plant rice corn and mangoes and mahogany tree mm-hmm. okay. so still have debts uh, I'm free that the I, I am free the debts and I I no longer emotional person mm-hmm. What else? What else has been changed in your life since you started coming here? You started using your first. Was it easy to use your faith? Was it easy? To it's use not faith? easy because uh, the time uh, because I'm going to five years here in UCPG. Uh, um, it's not easy because the time uh, because uh, the the grudges inside of me. I've been I attending the services. The all the message impact. For me, because I'm still holding the the grudges inside of me, and then I ask God many times, Lord, uh, help me, because I don't have strength to to forgive. Mm-hmm. So I I said, Lord, uh, please help me to overcome this my inner issue in my life. Mm-hmm. Um, the first thing I. Uh, I, I forgive myself first because the problem is inside of me. I don't have uh, um, I don't have uh, what you call I don't have strength to 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 handle mm. like that. And then little by little, it's, it's not easy. Little by little, I notice I I change inside. Mm. I I I have I I have uh, when I call my mother that time I have love. Be- because before 
always angry asking where's the money where from like that that my my behavior before then little by little i change my behavior i when i call i i have uh, because i learned a lot here the missis i learned the word of god the most uh, the most especially is the the about the salvation i i teach them the salvation it's important like that uh, i share the the all the word of god that that time and and uh, i join evangelize uh, to share what's what's happening and i and i'm now i change right now uh god help me to to forgive uh, those who hit to hit me yes so could you say that you really experienced a real transformation since you had the problems but you came here found the solution and today your life is completely transformed yes yes okay. well, listen thank you so much for sharing with us and thanks once again for joining us in this hospital until I know what's wrong with my daughter. If you want out, that's fine with me. We are back with all of you after watching this great testimony. The purpose of having this program is not to bring to you religion, but to show you the way from where your life you're going to change, like the life of Nichol. I would like to read for you this Bible verse in the book of Job, chapter 11, verses 16 and 17. Then all your troubles you fade from your memory, like floods that are past and remembered no more. Your life will be brighter than sunshine at noon, and life's darkest hours will shine like the dawn. We could watch during the testimony of Nichelle. She was a slave of the past. She couldn't forget the past or forgive people. And there are people that are living in the same situation nowadays. They are in an endless cycle and they cannot find a way out in order to break free and have a new life. They are having many ups and downs in life because the life improves a little bit. All of a sudden, new problems arise and they find themselves back again into that cycle. And they are like slaves of debts, addictions, unforgiveness, traumas. They are having family problems and also financial life that is very miserable, full of failures and frustrations. But in this Bible verse that we just read for you, it says, when you seek God, your problems will be like a water that passes by. When you stay by a river and the running waters are going ahead, you can be sure that water will not return. This is a very interesting comparison that the Bible is teaching us that once you are close to God, and you use your faith, these running waters will never return. Those former problems will never come back to your life. Instead of having ups and downs, your life will go up little by little, and you're going to reach the top and be free, having a new life. How many people they came to work abroad with this goal in their mind? I will stay a couple of years away from my family, the people that I love. I will sacrifice, but it will be worthy because I will buy my house. I will open my business. I will acquire property or agricultural land. And after a few years, I will go back home and stay with my family. 
But so many people have been working abroad for 10, 15, 20 years. And they get frustrated because their dreams never come true. They are walking in circles, reaching nowhere until the time when the person gets so depressed, frustrated, that the person can even end up giving up on her own life, thinking about killing herself. We could watch that Nichelle, she was depressed. There were problems coming from every side against her. She had a religion. She used to go to different churches, but she wasn't happy. She was a slave of the past, having debts, problems with the family, with the husband, and sinking in debts. But when she found the power of the living God, that's when she experienced a total transformation in her life. And maybe after watching this testimony, you could identify yourself to her personal story, saying, this is the way my life has been. If her life could change, your life can be changed as well. Therefore, if you are facing problems, and you need help, send us a sign that you need help. Contact us via inbox message explaining to us about your situation. And we are going to have a counseling session with you in our help center. I would like you to prepare yourself for the ministration of the blessing of God upon your life. You can prepare your glass of water and we are going to bless your life. I have here the glass of water in my hands. If you feel hopeless, sick, having debts, depression, suicidal thoughts, addictions, do not lose hope. As God promised, your suffering and troubles, they will go away and they will never return. It's up to you. If you seek Him, it will be the reality in your life because your life will be totally transformed. In this moment, my God and Father, we determine that when this person drinks the water that we present to you, you will wipe away all the sufferings, problems, troubles from the life of these people, giving them strength to move on. They will believe in themselves and also in you, receiving your strength to have a new life. In the name of Jesus, we bless the water in this moment. Help your people, my Lord, to have a new life. Remove all suffering, pain, traumas, depression, curses from their lives and give them peace of mind in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We bless the water, your life, and your family. You can drink together with us from the cup of water. Very well, we believe you are blessed. Today you are learning that instead of accepting to be an endless cycle, conforming yourself to the situation of your life, you can seek God in order to break free and have a new life. Don't try to accept your situation when God is promising you that your situation can be changed. Therefore, our help center in Hong Kong is open every day. 
even during the lockdown, you can pass by and receive counseling or a prayer. We will be available to help you. If for any reason you cannot come personally, send now about your problems. Send us a message explaining about your problems. And we are going to be in touch with you. Tomorrow, we are going to be here again with this evening program, Problems and Solutions. I'm not leaving this hospital until I know what's wrong with my daughter. If you want out, that's fine with me.